Hello and welcome to today's video on project management. In this episode, we will explore the key differences between two critical concepts, the critical path and the critical chain. First, let's understand the critical path. In project management, the critical path refers to the sequence of tasks that must be completed in order to meet the project's deadline. These tasks are interconnected and have zero float or slack time, meaning any delay in these tasks will directly impact the project's overall duration. The critical path determines the minimum time required to complete the project. It helps project managers identify tasks that are critical to meeting deadlines and allows for effective resource allocation. Now let's move to the critical chain. Unlike the critical path, the critical chain considers both task dependencies and resource constraints. It takes into account the availability of resources and identifies the longest sequence of tasks that are resource dependent. The critical chain approach recognizes that resources constraints such as limited availability or fluctuations in resource availability can impact project timelines. By prioritizing resource allocation, the critical chain aims to optimize resource utilization and minimize project delays. To protect the project from uncertainties and variations, the critical chain introduces the concept of project buffers. These buffers are strategically placed at the end of critical chain tasks to absorb any delays without affecting the project deadline. By incorporating buffers, the critical chain method helps to manage uncertainties, minimizes multitasking, and improves project flow. In summary, the critical path focuses on task dependencies and identifies the longest sequence of tasks to meet project deadline, while the critical chain takes into account both task dependencies and resource constraints using buffers to protect against uncertainties. Understanding these concepts is essential for effective project planning and execution. Whether you choose the critical path or critical chain approach, it's crucial to select the method that aligns best to with your project's requirements and constraints. I hope you have found the content of the video helpful. If you did so, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.